Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another maths tutorial. Uh, one of my subscribers requested a tutorial on calculating um, the interest from a credit card account. Um, and they sort of assumed that it was uh, compound interest. Now, the first thing you need to know is that sometimes it could be simple interest depending on um, how the credit card company has stated their policies. So this definitely is not the only way that they calculate interest and quite possibly it doesn't match what your credit, comp credit card company does but it should be uh, reasonably close uh, but again I can't make any guarantees so if you feel like um, I've done something wrong feel free to post a comment otherwise um, just have a look at what I'm doing and uh, hopefully you can get something out of it so let's have a look at the question. The question says, John has a 55 days interest free credit card. So what this means, 55 days interest free, it means that if you pay off the amount that you owe the credit card company within 55 days, then you are charged no interest. Okay, so they're pretty much providing their services to you for free if you can pay off everything you owe on time okay within 55 days now however the credit card has an annual interest rate of 18 percent and interest is calculated daily or you might say well it's 55 days interest free um, I'll just pay it all off on time so why do I need to know this information well if somehow you don't pay it off on time right if you um, didn't get paid that month or you lost your job or something like that if you don't pay it off within the 55 days then they start charging you uh, this amount of interest 18 percent per annum and every day they will calculate the interest okay so let's say this person John he paid his credit card balance 10 days after the due date so that means he paid off his credit card 10 days after due date so that would be 65 days now the 55 interest days interest free period is finished so therefore what does that mean that means he will have to pay 65 days worth of interest Okay, 65 days worth of interest because once you go out of the 55 days free interest free period, they start charge they charge you interest from the beginning of the 55 days interest free period. So you have to pay interest for every one of the 55 days if you um, don't pay off your credit card balance within that time. So therefore the first thing you say is John has to pay interest for all of his purchases starting from the beginning of his statement period okay so this is his statement here okay now his statement period is 1st of June to the 30th of June and Initially, he doesn't owe anything. Okay, on the 5th of June, he goes to 7 Eleven and he buys um, something for 15.35 on his credit card. On the 13th of June, buys something from Kmart, $99.95, and so on. And at the end of the month, on the 30th of June, um, closing balance on 30th of June, I should say that. On 30th of June and the uh, opening balance on 1st of June okay um, 
So at the end of the month, 30th of June, this is his closing balance. Okay, so what we need to do now is for every single day of the month, we're going to calculate how much money he, how much interest is charged on him. Okay, so we're going to start a new section of the spreadsheet called interest charged. Now, from the 1st of June, so let's just, uh, yep, we can just do it here, interest charged, the date, from date to date. Okay, from the 1st of June to the 5th, to the 4th of June, the interest charged is nothing, is zero, right? Because um, there was no balance. Okay, he didn't owe any money to the credit card company, so he doesn't have to pay any interest. However, starting from the 5th of June, right, all the way to the 12th of June, okay, I'm just going to move this column to the right a little bit, and I'm going to write another um, column called balance. From the 5th of June, he buys something for 1535 so now he has a balance of $15.35. Now, how is interest calculated? Okay, this is the part where um, I'm going to switch back to uh, Smooth Draw and show you guys. So, the interest calculated, interests. Now, the yearly interest, annual interest rate is um, 18%. Okay, so therefore the daily interest rate will be 18 divided by 365. The daily interest rate will be 18 divided by 365. And then, um, so basically, to figure out how much interest uh, John will pay for one day, we will go 1535 now, if we just multiplied it by 18 over 100, that's how much interest they will pay for one year. Okay, but because um, because it's we want to find out how much interest they're paying in one day, we then divide this by 365. So times one over 365. And then from the 5th of June to the 12th of June, okay, from the 5th of June to the 12th of, to the 12th of June, okay, 5th, 12 minus 5 is 7. So from the 5th of June to the 12th of June is 7 days. But you have to realize that if you're taking days away like this, then the seven days does not include the 5th of June itself. So we have to plus one to it to include the 5th of June. So it's actually eight days. Shouldn't write it like that. I'll write it in the next line. Okay, it's actually eight days. Uh, between the 5th of June to the 8th, 12th of June, including the 5th and the 12th. So I'm going to change this to 8 over 365. And that is what we're going to put, that is the formula we're going to put t 
to calculate how much interest we've got to pay over here. All right. So from the 5th of June to the 12th of June, our balance is 15.35. Oops, 35, not 38. 15.35. And then um, we're going to get the daily interest rate, which is 18. Sorry, we get the yearly interest rate, which is 18. Divided by 100, so we find out what 18% uh, of 15.35 is. And then we times it by 8 over 365. Because it's 1 over 365 for one day times 8, which will give you 8 days. So let's put that formula into Excel. So, uh, 15.35, so this equals 15.35 times 18% uh, over 100 for the yearly interest rate. And you, if you just type enter now, just to check you got the right thing. So if you owe this much money, then for one year you will be paying two dollars seventy six but it's a daily interest rate so we're gonna times by eight days out of three hundred and sixty five days which means that we've got to pay six cents so that doesn't, that's not really a lot of money. So that's good. Okay, um, so let's go from the 13th to the 26th. So 13th of June to the 26th of June, 25th of June. Now, what is our balance? Well, our balance is no longer 15.35 because on the 13th of June, we bought something for $99.95. So we're going to add that amount to the 15.35. So 15.35 plus the 99.95. And now it's 115.30. And we're going to get the interest. So we can just fill down on the previous day's interest calculations, fill down, and it's 45 cents. But um, the amount of days you need to change that from eight days to however many days there are between 25 and 13. So you just go 25 minus 13, which is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13, so it's 13 days. So it's 13 days where we owe this amount. All right, the balance, the daily balance is 115.3 and we want 13 days of that. So it's 0 0.74. And then from the 26th of June all the way to when we repay um when we repay the, the money, the full balance. Okay, so when do we pay it all off? We pay it off on um, so from the 1st to the 30th, that's 30 days. 30 days plus um, another 35 days, right? Because we pay it after 35 days. So that's going to be the 4th of August or whenever it is. 35 days. Uh, another 35 days from the thir after the 30th of June. Okay. So then our balance is going to be 115.30 plus the 135 so it's 
and how many days is it so let's fill down from this and from the 4th of August from the 26th of June to the 4th of August is 40 days okay so instead of 13 I have 40 days so why is it 40 days well from the 26th of June to the 30th of June that's five days and then because we're paying it 10 days after the due date so um, that is 65 days from the beginning so 65 minus uh, 30 65 minus 30 is 35 days after the 30th of June so 35 plus the 5 days from the 26th to the 30th so that's 40 days you might have to put it all on paper yourself to find it so anyway so it's 40 days and then how much is the total interest so the total interest would be equal to the sum of all of the interest added together let's add all that together and the interest is six dollars uh, I believe this is being rounded up so just to make sure that the rounding is correct I'm gonna right click on all of these cells and I'm gonna go right click format cells and go to currency and make sure it's two decimal places okay so it's actually 5.75 is the actual amount of interest charged okay so that's the answer I hope this is correct I hope you guys I hope you guys learned something out of this see you next time